Marley was dead to begin with. There is no doubt whatever about that. <laughs> that is how Charles Dickens began A Christmas Carol, one of the best known and most loved stories at this time of year. In fact, if you wish someone a Merry Christmas, you can thank Charles Dickens for the phrase. Up until A Christmas Carol, most people wished others a happy Christmas. Dickens wrote the book in only six short weeks, from October to early December in 1843, with much of it coming to him as he took nighttime walks of 15 to 20 miles around London. It was first published on December 19th of that same year, and the first edition was sold out by Christmas Eve. By the end of 1844, 13 editions had been released. Dickens' sister-in-law wrote that he wept and laughed and wept again, and excited himself in a most extraordinary manner in composition. After attending a reading of the book in 1867, an American businessman was so moved by the story that he closed his factory on Christmas Day and sent every employee a turkey. This is a child's crutch, similar to the one which would have been used by one of A Christmas Carol's most memorable characters, Tiny Tim, the crippled son of Bob Cratchit. This particular crutch was found in a secret room in this very house, which was built around 1773. When the Cratchit family sat down to their Christmas dinner, Tiny Tim uttered a simple but very profound prayer, which is actually repeated as the final words of the book. And so, as Tiny Tim observed, God bless us, every one. Tiny Tim got it right. His request was that God would bless everyone. The real message of Christmas is not that God loves only some people, Tiny Tim, the Cratchit family, even a changed Scrooge. The message at the heart of Christmas is that God loves each and every person he created. He loves you. He loves all those you personally know and love. He even loves all those you don't know personally and may not love. The Hebrew prophet Isaiah told of a day when the Lord Almighty will prepare a feast of rich food for all peoples. He will destroy the shroud that enfolds all peoples, the sheet that covers all nations. He will swallow up death forever. The Sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces. The angel who appeared to the shepherds on that glorious night to announce the birth of the promised Savior said, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. In the last book of the Bible, Jesus' disciple John told his readers of a day when, to paraphrase a popular expression, all heaven will break loose. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that is in them, singing to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever. Through A Christmas Carol and his other books, Charles Dickens opened people's eyes to see others not as people who are to be used or abused and ultimately discarded but as people who are to be loved and helped in their time of need. As we celebrate this Christmas, let us rejoice in the knowledge that Jesus Christ came to redeem all mankind. And let us view people we know and love and those we don't know or don't love as people made in the image of God who are to be treated with compassion and respect. This Christmas, let our request be that of Tiny Tim, God bless us, everyone. Merry Christmas.